Uh, then the next is number 108, is honor. <laughs>
that we now are going to reinstitutionalize you potentially in nursing homes or other um, uh, institutional situations when we really don't need to and they've been so successful in terms of living within the community. Thank you very much. That's a very good reminder. And we just got rid of the uh, community consent decree. And here we are. Uh, on the MR side, yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Uh, actually, just a couple more questions for Representative Fredette. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. And hello, Mike. Mike and I actually graduated from the Ed Muskie School of Public Service back in a long time ago. <laughs> so here we are today. Well, it's back when I had hair that was almost <laughs> as good as yours, Representative. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've good. obviously aged a lot better than I have. <laughs> I was going to make that joke, but I decided not to. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> um, having the knowledge that you have been up here, and, and let's assume that we have a hundred or two hundred million dollar problem that we need to fix. I'm assuming as a mayor that you would you would agree that taking fifty million or a hundred million dollars from education isn't the answer. Mm -hmm. Well. Um, Representative, that uh, when I chaired the Health and Human Services Committee in 2003 2004, we had a $1 billion shortfall. We had $350 million that we had to cut out of the Department of Health and Human Services at that point. We did that without having to make reductions for education. So I believe that there is a way not to pit um, the main care, this issue, with education. The state has been very successful in the past in looking at prior authorization. Uh, uh, utilization review, limiting services, um, looking at different ways uh, to, to capitate rates. So I think all those options can be on the table and there are ways to achieve some of the savings and address some of those issues without necessarily having to go into uh, cutting education. I agree with you, education is very important and I wouldn't want to see as mayor of Portland any cuts to uh, our educational funding. So one last question if I could follow up and at least if I could request. It, it sounds like you have some ideas on, on how this might be achieved. So You're getting into dangerous territory. So I guess I'd ask if, if you could at least provide that information to the chairs. Certainly, I'll be interested in looking at it and, and having further conversations. I, I, I would, and I'd be more than happy to be available for work session uh, to continue those discussions. Thank you. Congratulations on your election. Thank, Thank you. you. And I, I want to extend an open invitation to anybody uh, on the two committees, if you're in Portland, uh, please call me, and we have great places to eat, and lunch will be on me. Thank you. Oh, hold it, hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I get your attention, so you <laughs> If we've gone this far and we have lunch, then we have some more questions. Uh, Representative Fossil, as well. Yes, and you, uh, fortunately, you played right into what I was going to say, and that is my memory though it extends back before I was a legislator, was you were on Health and Human Services Committee. Correct. And my memory is also there is a long and firmly established tradition if you testify <laughs> <in> court, <laughs> okay. So I think you would call us all lunch. Later. Representative Fossil, you're correct. Um, I, I have had the opportunity to testify before other committees uh, prior to this, and I have paid my dues in terms of bringing, I uh, think, Representative Burgess, I, 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 I would not fight you on this issue. <laughs> um, and, and let it be said that next time I come, I will bring something. And, and again, my offer, which is a more generous offer, that uh, if you come to Portland, I, I will treat you to lunch. That's better than a bag of cookies. So uh, thank you for reminding me of that, and I will fulfill that obligation uh, faithfully. Thank you. Plot. <coughs> no, I just want to say hi, and thank you very much. I, I was out when you were presenting. I'm sorry. I missed you. I just want to say hi. Thank you very much for your couple. Thank you, Representative Plot. I appreciate it. My only remaining question is if there is room in the Brennan administration for this discrimination. Representative Rosen, um, the purpose of this forum is <laughs> not to ask people testifying the toughest questions. Uh, but there, uh, uh, Sen former Senator Stremling and I have a very good working relationship. Uh, on the day of the election, we actually stood next to each other for six hours at the polls, right next to each other. We had a great conversation about congressional campaigns, about legislative campaigns, about mayoral campaigns, and uh, there's always room uh, 
and my administration for uh, former senators and former representatives and members of the legislature, including yourself. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you.